Good morning. We're so happy you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, we hope that you will come back tomorrow. Happy New Year's Eve, everybody. We are staying home today. Peter's making us breakfast. Um, yeah, we're just taking it easy. Our packing needs to get serious today. We leave Monday. It is Saturday. And the first thing I'm gonna do today is go through his bins because he's so tall, Teddy, that, I mean, he's seven months, but like all of his six month pants are like capris. So I'm gonna check out his boxes and maybe get some 12 month clothes for this tall kid. <laughs> what? Oh, goodness. You know Miss Rachel's hanging out with us on New Year's Eve. <laughs> My new favorite thing to do is balance things on Teddy's head and then tell James to look because he's just tickled by it. Hop, hop, a hop, a link, down, down again. I want to give hop a link, down, down, Trying to get rid of some of this leftover ham. We got the potatoes here. My big pan is dirty, so I'm like, I cooked the potatoes because they took longer. And now I've got some peppers, onions, and the chocolate pan seasoned and searing away. And I'll combine them and top them off with some seasoning and a little bit of cheese. And right, here we go. I didn't, I got lazy. I didn't want to shred the cheddar cheese that was already in slices from our charcuterie. So I just Put pop them on top, melt them with the lid on, and now we're gonna plate it up and indulge. Look at these breakfast bowls. Ooh. Ooh, smells like the holidays. And James has found a new love for oranges these past, basically since Christmas. He's had an orange every day. We're playing some music on this Saturday morning, on this New Year's Eve. We've got more Irish music playing. We must get into the spirit. So I went into the bedroom to edit the vlog before nap time. And then the productivity will begin. But for now, we dance. Dance, 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 dance. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, snap those fingers. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Dance, dance, dance. Snap them fingers, baby. Snap them. Getting the vlog up behind the scenes. Thumbnail making. Peter made me this delicious yogurt. It looks like coconut, cinnamon, and chocolate. You guys just eating chips and hummus over there? Eating yeah, chips and hummus. Nice chair, Dad. Thanks. You guys know that the thing like we miss the most being plant-based was cheese. But like other dairy stuff, like we've been pretty good about like eating alternatives and whatnot. And I still usually do an alternate yogurt. Well, this yogurt that we got is cashew yogurt. And it's so weird to me because a lot of vegan cheeses even for like pizza and whatever are cashew based but this yogurt i think i would like it had i not had like the predisposition to like cashew cheeses that were off-putting or that i didn't like like it's not bad it just like it makes me think of that like fake cheese i don't like but if you put enough toppings on it it's no big deal Oh gosh, we finally got batteries in one of Teddy's Christmas toys, and it's super cool. I think that he got them while, like, head thing from Louie and Hingo. I think so, too. He's been making me look up at the He's a courier. He's got to pull it up to make sure it doesn't get stuck on his bike chain. It's, the, it's, the same, it's produced by the same people who made... Just, I don't know if we like, if we even need to say it, but in the middle of the day, it's just chaos and anarchy. But it's the same noises that this thing makes. See? Get it, James, get it. I am headed out for my Saturday office hours. And kudos to all the working parents and 
care givers out there because it's hard to leave. Did you see me open that door and it straight up said closed on it? Online it says open, but I'm gonna find somewhere new to go. I was saying it was a little difficult for me to leave today. Um, and last weekend I didn't leave because it was Christmas Eve, um, but this weekend we said we're getting out. A lot of things are closed early because of it being New Year's Eve. So hopefully Stan's Donuts will be open for me to just spend some time working on the vlog. Saturday is gonna be the day that I am in the comment section. So if you have one, hang out there. I'm gonna be there on Saturdays. Um, so hopefully it's open. They were open. I got a green tea lemonade, so like Arnold Palmer. And it is so good. With my dudes. Hang on out with my dudes. Hang it out with my dudes. Hang it out with my dudes. Back up to it. Hang it out with my dudes. The real question is, did, did James and Teddy get too many bluey toys when you can make an entire Mickey Mouse train of blueies? Never! We need all the bluey toys. It's one of those times where I wish I could blatantly show you where we live because I just happened to look at my Amazon app and it was like, oh, your package is just two stops away. And I was like, oh, it's on our block. And then I looked at the window and I see the Amazon block. We got new luggage. We got some money and gift cards for Christmas and we used it to get new luggage. And so, like, the, we've got stacks of clothes for, like, the Disney portion in the first part of them next week. The run Disney portion, then we've got the cruise portion, and then after cruise, we're staying for an extra two days, two nights. So, like, we've got all those styles. I can't speak. I'm too excited. Two uh, stacks of clothes put in different spots. And so we're just waiting for the luggage to get here so we can put it in. All right, we've got a bit of a major update. Teddy just... Willingly, almost excitingly, smashed a four ounce bottle of formula. Cause him's a big kid. Him's a big kid. We've been, like we started weaning him, um, or like getting him at least to have bottles a little bit lot later than James. We wanted to like, have James at a certain spot at six months. I don't think we even started the conversation until six months for Teddy. Um, and it was a bit of a struggle at first. I remember like, I felt like I was like drowning him in formula the first time I tried to give him a bottle a couple weeks ago and he barely had it, maybe had a half an ounce. Then like two weeks ago, I think I got him to have like two ounces. A couple days ago, I got him to have like one. Well, just now, he saw the bottle and he was like pumped. And he had four ounces. Also, shout out to Grant, it's his birthday. We also FaceTimed him a little bit ago, give him some love. Put a comment down below and say, Grant, you are a wild animal. Happy birthday. He's officially in his late 20s now. He's such a little boy. What are you doing? You gonna stay up till midnight with mom and dad? And then tomorrow it's full, full prep, prep, prep day. Oh, get it. Prep to go on a road trip. Your first big road trip. Here we go, here we go. It has arrived, it has arrived. Let's open it and see. This is our new luggage for our trip. Look. What do you think, James? Do you like the new luggage? So it's a three set. Hard. By Shoku. Oh. Wow, I bet I could put you in there. <laughs> so they're designed that they can fit in each other so when we're not traveling, easy storage. 
bright color if you're able to spot it at the airport easily. And they're hard. They're expandable. You got fresh wheels, so much dividing and storage. Organization. We're gonna be using these in two days. Yeah. <laughs> it's a wheel, not a ball, but close. Open. Want me to open? They said open. We're gonna put Jamesy's clothes and toys in here. Wow. I got some donuts to bring home for the boys, and our neighborhood is so alive with it being. New Year's Eve. It's so fun seeing everyone dressed up and I'm sure going out to all the fun places nearby. Um, like we've said before, we're just hanging home. We're just hanging home. We're just hanging at home. Um, I don't think we're gonna keep the boys up just because sleep has kind of been on the fritz. I don't want to cause any other issues and we have stuff to do so like if they're gonna be sleeping tonight we gotta be productive but maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but I am hungry, and so I'm gonna get to cooking right when I get back. Oh, hey. da -do, da -do, da -do, da -do. dance, dance, dance. Oh, he's a dancer. Hey. Our children are running on fumes. We decided they will not make it until midnight. Shoot. <laughs> oh my goodness, Teddy. Go, go, go. <laughs> oh goodness! <laughs> Alrighty, we're getting our New Year's Eve food already. The pizza has a little bit more to go. Here is our mixture of great jelly and ketchup. I know it sounds crazy, but it is delicious. And we got little smoky dogs to go in there. Probably made a little bit too much on this sauce. I'd rather have too much than too little, right? Um, so we're just gonna snack on these while the pizza cooks. I don't know if this was just our mall growing up. Like our mall was Chicago Ridge Mall. And there was like at the center, there was a Hillshire Farms booth. And they would have little Smokies for like taste tests all the time and the smell and they were so delicious. And that's like a memory I'm trying to recreate right now that I just remembered. Oh, I think that might be for the pizza. Um, comment if your mall did that and or if you went, like grew up going to Chicago Ridge Mall and remember that. We have some very cheesy bread, <laughs> very <laughs> cheesy pizza, ready to indulge on this cheese pizza New Year's Eve. I'm not sure why you're laughing so much. Good night to Jamesy. One last time in 2022. See you next year, Squib. I love you. I love you to the moon. I love you to the stars. I love you further than the furthest far. <laughs> All right, Teddy's going to bed. Be happy New Year, Teddy. His first year. happy new year. Right, year he was born. Over. Love you. Why not hop on a Cody Rigsby 45 minute ride at 9 o'clock at night on New Year's Eve? Because Dopey is next week. Let's go. She's distressed. She's so upset. She's, she doesn't like when we pack. She's, I'm, I'm being funny. She's clearly relaxed. <laughs> well, I was on the Peloton, Sarah started, uh, I don't know if she's shown it. I haven't, because I just also was like, so. Lots of packing going on. We're trying to pack, like, maybe the cruise, most of the cruise luggage separately before yeah. we even leave Chicago. So, like, these are, like, all the boys' clothes for the cruise and our for the cruise. Wow. But I also, this is new luggage. I don't know, like, it looks like there's more space in the top. Yeah, they're, they're equal sizes. So like the Weird. amount of, what? Weird. But yeah, it's just different this. than what we're used to. Yeah. This one's closed for now. When should we bust out the, uh, 
sparkling grape juice, grape juice. right now because I'm sweating. As we get ready for the new year, we have some mulch of sparkling grape juice and I busted out our wedding crystal glasses. We got Dolly and Miley singing us two minutes away. I just brought Eve outside for the, her last walk of 2022. And I just want to point out like, we love Chicago. We love the city. We love our neighborhood so much. And just not bringing Eve out for the walk. Like we live on a street that is mostly like four and five flat apartment buildings. Also not too far away from some busy streets with some bars and clubs. I brought Eve outside and like, it just feels a lot. There's people, there's groups of people walking around everywhere. You can hear all the windows open because it's like warmer. It's like 35 right now. So the people have the windows open. You can hear the parties going on, the music. There's smoke in the street from fireworks already. So I'm gonna open up our window so we can hear it. With just under two minutes left. Sarah's packing away. <laughs> hey, listen. You might need to get your head a little bit closer to the window. Can you hear him? Do you want to go out? <laughs> People having a good time? Yeah. We love a good time. We do have a good time. We're like a minute away. <gasps> Wait, no. Yeah, we're 55 seconds away. <laughs> Spoiler alert. That's the countdown for the East Coast. We, we like to celebrate both the East Coast yeah. and Central Time Zone. So now we actually are going to put on About Time and sit down and relax, hope, fingers crossed, our children stay asleep, and we will, like, two old souls. Remember the Brookhart's, like, running to Epcot with literally a minute left? Or, like, we went to Epcot every year we could when we yeah, lived there. Yeah, for New Year's there. Eve. Um, and so we, we were either, like, running there or there having Partying a great time. All day. And I'll, like, put in the cards one of the blocks. We should be there next year in New Year's Eve in Epcot, even with the kids. But this year, we're going to watch about time until our central time zone midnight. So, happy new year to everybody in the future time zones. Happy new year's to everybody in the eastern time zone. Happy new year. Happy new year. Happy new year, Evie. You're the only one who made it. And you have a piece of cookie in your hand. Happy new year. Happy new year, babies. First head rub of 2023. <laughs> it's after midnight in Central Time Zone, and just as we were about to get ready to sign off, Teddy woke up, so Sarah jumped in there and is getting Teddy, James, Teddy, Eve, uh, getting Teddy back to sleep. So I just want to say Happy New Year. Thank you so much. The Brookhearts appreciate all of the joy and adventuring that we all get to go on together. Um, we love your support and your friendship, and it's been quite some time, five years of vlogging, you know, regularly. So I'm excited to see what 2023 is going to bring for the Brookharts. I'm excited to see what it means for me, what it means for Sarah, and James, and Teddy, and Eve, and our whole family, and this whole new chapter of life we're going into of trying to make living in two cities work. Um, but you guys know how stubborn Sarah and I are, so we will find a way to make it work. We have like five different plans, and I'm excited to execute on, on all of them. So we love you guys. Thank you so much, and it is good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.